Ähm, wir sind zu Gast bei Thief und wir haben vor allen Dingen viel zur Story gehört. Deswegen werde ich den Creative Director auch größtenteils mal dazu befragen. So, you talked a lot about the story and to me it looks like it's, uh, it's the story of the poor against the oppressive rich. Is that what you're going to delve into? Yeah, I mean, the setting of the world very much has this kind of the rich versus the poor, the oppressed versus the, uh, the entitled. Uh, but really the story is more Garrett's personal story. This first person experience where you get to uh, uh, to be him, to be inside his head and how he tries to deal with the, with the personal side of his life. Garrett's the master at a lot of things, but one thing he's always struggled with is the, uh, is the connection with people. So his, uh, his connection with his protege, this younger girl, Erin, who dies because of, uh, uh, of him taking the claw during uh, this big job that they do together, it sets him on this interesting path. So as the politics and the people kind of uh, uh, squeeze from either side, Garrett's not a political man and he, he tries to walk this fine line while he follows this, this more personal, darker secret as the story un uh, unravels and the mystery starts to be, uh, to be revealed. How do you build an incentive, a drive for a character who's so independent and so grey? Yeah, that was an interesting challenge for us because um, at first we were just throwing like big challenging jobs at Garrett, the master thief, right? You know, stealing the bigger, better thing. Um, but after a while it became apparent that, like I was saying, to go after where he's vulnerable but without compromising his character, what was interesting to us was to explore more the personal side of him. Uh, because he's very good at all these things except for that. So, I mean, basically, the, the story started to inspire. I spent a lot of time with Garrett in my head asking what would Garrett do, what, you know, what would I do in this situation? And I realized that uh, the, the most interesting conflict for me, narratively speaking, was coming from how he deals with this situation. The very few people in the world that he has to speak to, but how he would actually deal with that became a very compelling narrative. Um, how would you say the character changed? Uh, compared to the Garrett from the older Thief games? Well, from the original game, we love the original Thief universe, and uh, we were looking at stuff that we could take. It's a brand new story. You don't need to have played the old game. So, I mean, the, the, the new audience can just enjoy the new Thief uh, story. They don't have to have played the originals. Uh, but the most uh, interesting part of the original games was Garrett's character, the premise of who Garrett is. Um, so we, we took Garrett himself, to kind of build up this narrative from that personality, plus a few other things from the universe, you know, the, like a familiar flavor. So really, um, that's the main thing that we took. Now the difference is, as I mentioned before, I feel is that in the new game, we're being a little bit more on the personal side. Uh, we have a privileged position because it's a first person game. It's interesting. We're inside his head. So when he talks to himself, he's talking to us. So we can hear him and, and see how he's thinking. And it's a very interesting perspective on his character. Okay, and um, in the introduction, there's a, he's missing a kind of a year after a ritual, and um, there is a little bit steampunk. Um, how much of these kind of supernatural or strange elements are going to be in the story, or are they going to be important? I think that there's a lot of um, mystery in the world. Um, the supernatural is one word to, to, de to describe it. Um, I mean, magic in the real world is often kind of process or science, like little understood or misunderstood. Um, but you will get to a point in life where it's like, you know what, that's really interesting, it's mysterious, I don't understand it. And uh, we have a lot of that in the Thief universe where Garrett's going to come across a lot of things that initially he doesn't understand. And it's part of um, revealing this secret and this mystery, which is going to be a great, uh, a great thing for the player to do because he shares that, that confusion with Garrett from the beginning. So all of these mysteries, there's, there's quite a few in the world. Yeah. And uh, you're not going to turn him into kind of a Robin Hood with this oppression story. He's still going to be the thief. No, Garrett is the thief. I mean, um, it might not be the right word for him, but he's still selfish at the core. He's, he's there for himself. He's an independent. Um, he would say to you, I don't do politics. I don't like to be involved. I don't trust anyone. He's there for himself, which is why he has this interesting conflict where suddenly, you know, it's a little bit more. He's got to start thinking about other things that he's not used to, and that's what puts him into this uh, into this awkward position where he has to resolve some conflict. Thank you very much. No, oh, thank you.